the first two parts of casting the multiplier reel, we concentrated on the basics that you need to imprint and it needs to become a habit before you will have comfortable and effective casting. Now it's essential that you get those basics right before you attempt in swinging the sinker for a better cast. Line control is essential before you really start speeding up that reel. And as with golf, all the rest plays the essential role to get a proper cast in. Okay guys, remember to run through everything we did in the first one. So you've got your technique right, using your arms, pulling, pushing, using your head up high, aiming there at 45 degrees, your finger opposite side of the knot, uh, make your spool wet so your finger doesn't burn. Part two is where we put it down so you can get the feeling of the sinker being straight out with the rod and giving you a lot more spin on your reel. And if you're used to that, then you can start swinging. Okay, Jed, so the, the principle of it all, you've got a long drop, you've got a more gradual, slow swing, and your chance of connecting with your sinker is much better than if you've got a short little one meter drop. Because that just swings out quickly like that. So a lot of times, especially when you're starting off, it might be coming back already when you, when you start go following through with your, with your swing or your cast, or other times you hit it before it even hits the back. So just my advice and what works for me, is a longer drop like this. And then a gradual, you've got a nice gradual swing. It gives you that couple of split seconds extra to connect properly when you swing through. Okay guys, now a great way to start is just get your swing right. So you swing it and place it softly onto the sand. When it, when it reaches a straight line with your rod, you just place it softly onto the sand. When practicing to place it softly on the sand, get into the habit of doing this slowly. That will ease your casting going forward. And once you've got that right, that gives you the exact timing you want to follow through and cast it out. Getting the swing right and making sure you connect with the sinker takes practice and practice and practice and some more practice. There's no use in not connecting properly in the back. Rather than don't swing. Eventually with a lot of practice, you know exactly when to turn around and your timing will be perfect. But like I say again, practice and practice. Guys, now you'll notice a, a much faster spin on your reel when you start doing that. Because now you're basically bringing your hips into the equation. You've got your left arm pulling, you've got your right arm pushing, and your hips is adding. The whole shoulder and hips is adding to, if you want to call it the thrust behind the cast. And that really makes the reel spin significantly faster and getting you a lot more distance. I was gonna do it one more time. Now after a lot of practice and getting this down to a T, fishing really becomes a pleasure. Don't practice while you're fishing. Make some time before the fishing trips or before you go out to get your casting under hand.